Hello and welcome, this is Alistair Christie and in this video we're going to take a look at component events and how we can reuse and recycle them. Prerequisites, you know these already, a copy of Delphi and if you don't have it download the free Explorer edition from TurboExplorer.com. On with the show. Okay we have our new VCL forms application and to it I am going to add a couple of buttons. say hello. In fact, I'll make them both say hello. And what I'm going to do is go into this one and say and if I wanted to do this one to do exactly the same, I could go in there and type the same code in or copy and paste it, but that would be a little bit redundant. What we're instead going to do is on the second button link up the same event. So they're both looking at button one click. Now I can also go in here and say convert it to say hello click and it's converted it for both of them and in the code it's say hello click. Now notice we've still got button two click here. If I uh, run this you'll notice that um, Delphi removed that uh, occurrence of that event because it was redundant, it wasn't being used anywhere and it was empty. And we can go hello world, hello world, both using the same event. Now if we wanted these to do slightly different things, such as say hello Bob and say hello Jane, we can go in here and we can say if sender equals button 1 and sender is this uh, parameter here which is of type t object and we can compare that with button 1 and if they're the same we can say hello Bob else hello Jane and if we run that click on button 1 get hello Bob and button 2 hello Jane okay let's just save all that Sender project. Okay, next I am going to add uh, an edit box and a speed button. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, and zero. Oops. And I'll highlight all of those and go into events. Okay, now what I'm going to do is edit one dot text. It's going to get edit one plus sender as T speed button dot caption. So we know that the sender is going to be a speed button, so we can cast it as a speed button, and we're 
adding its caption to the end of the edit one text. So if we now run this, go one, two, three, four, and so on. So we've got ourselves a little calculator. In fact, let's change this text. If I can find the text property to blank and on one of these let's call it calculator button click. And save it. Okay, let's now add uh, some more controls. Let's add another edit, a memo, a button, and a checkbox. And give us a bit more room. Let's put all these on the side. Okay. And I'll select them all and go and create an on click event. Now, what I want to do is when one of these is clicked on, I want to copy the text from here and put it in either the uh, caption or text property. So, what I can do is I want to determine what type the sender is. So, I can go if sender is t edit then dot text is assigned edit one dot text else if sender is checkbox then the and what's the other one a button it's the caption property. Okay, let's run that and see what happens. Ah, do you check box dot caption. So checkbox. Ah, oh, let's put some stuff in there. The button, the edit. And I haven't done the memo yet. But what I'm going to do is rather than say t edit, I am going to say t custom edit, which is the parent of or the ancestor to both the memo and uh, edit box. So if I press F1 and cross my fingers on tmemo. That should bring up tmemo class. Yep. And we can see its class hierarchy. And we can see that tmemo descends from tcustommemo, tcustommemo, which descends from tcustomedit, and so on. And if I minimize that and go to the edit box and press F1, we can see likewise tedit descends from tcustomedit. So we can use t custom edit in both instances in oh, that should actually be t t custom edit. Uh, we can this this t custom edit can handle for both the memo and the edit box. And if I added a bit button,
happened in the on-click event. Put that in. That would be handled by the by the um, same code. That in fact we can even put a breakpoint in there. Let's let's do that. If it's a button. Oh, except we need to run with debugging. And we can see that it breaks on that line of code, which handles the T button. And if you looked into the help, you'd see that T bit, bu T -bit button descends from T button. Okay, last example. I'll just uh, copy this edit box. And let's get three of them. And let's get rid of that. And we'll call this. No, we don't want the click, we want on change. Um, change password edit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and declare and declare E as a T edit. And convert the sender um, we'll cast it to a T edit and then assign it to E. And then I can just go um, if length e dot text is less than seven, then e dot color is assigned white. So if the text is less, less than seven characters, it's red, otherwise it's white. So if we run that, and go in here and type in some text, we'll see that as soon as we get to past seven, six, seven, uh, it goes white. So one last little thing is um, these are white to begin with. It'd be nice if they started out red. Now we could just assign them to be red, but um, what I want to do is I'm going to copy that method and go into the forms constructor or the on create event and let's just start with edit three. So these events are just methods and you can call them uh, as you would any other method. And if I now run this, they should all start out by being red until we get past seven characters. If I wanted um, these edit boxes to be um, password boxes, I could of course go in and change the password character to a star and then we run it. And we type in all we get our aster asterisks or stars. And that's pretty much all I wanted to show you today. Um, thank you. In our first example, we didn't care what the sender was, we just wanted to say hello. However, when we modified it to say hello Bob and hello Jane, we needed to know what button was clicked on. So we just asked, is the sender button 1? With the calculator example, when we clicked on the speed buttons, we wanted to know what the caption was of the button we clicked on. So we used the as operator to convert the sender to a speed button and then looked at its caption property. If the sender wasn't a speed button, then the as operator would have thrown an exception. After the calculator example, we just put a bunch of different controls on the form and hooked up an on click event. We used the is operator to determine the type of the sender and then cast that to the type we wanted.
And lastly, we did the little password example in which the only new thing we really did was assign the sender to a local variable. This is really handy, otherwise you end up doing sender as tedit over and over and over. But what I really wanted to show was that these events are just methods and you can call them just like any other method. It was also probably good to have an example other than on click. Most events have at least a sender parameter. Many have additional parameters, uh, what key was pressed for example. Use the is operator to determine the type of an object and convert the type of the object using the as operator or you can cast it directly to the type you want. Using the as operator is often called a soft cast and casting directly is often called a hard cast. It might be referring to the type of landing you get when you get it wrong. When you get a hard cast wrong you have no idea what damage has been done. With the as operator you'll at least get an exception. In my opinion always use the as operator unless speed is of consideration. We've come to the end of another movie. This was Alistair Christie.